I'm Angela from the Artist Network. I'm here inter going to interview Warren Eberlin. And Warren, um, I'm just going to wait for you to join. Sorry, we're running a little bit late. We had a technical glitch with our first interview. Um, so we're just pushed back about 10 minutes. Um, so once Warren joins, we'll just chat a little bit about his um, art and practice and his inspiration. Um, Warren's part of the Riverdale Art Walk. It goes live on Friday. We have an opening Zoom um, Thursday evening, so hopefully um, you can join us for that as well. Uh, but uh, Warren is, um, is he there yet? No. Um, Warren is um, an artist, and most I think mostly an acrylic artist. Does a lot of landscape work. It's just beautiful. Um, it uh, evokes a lot of feeling and energy. Um, is Warren, there he is. I'm just going to go live with joining us any second. Uh, he can tell us a little bit more about his art practice, but the Riverdale Art Walk runs for two weeks. It's a virtual show because we are normally in Jimmy Simpson Park, but we will be, um, there he is. Hi, Warren. Hello, whoops, get the right view here. Hello. Hi, nice to see you. Good to see you, Angela. Thanks so much for um, joining us. I'm excited to chat with you a little bit more about your work. Not a problem and overcoming technology. Yeah, so um, we just had uh, the first artist that we interviewed had a bit of a glitch. Uh, so um, we're just pushed back a bit, so sorry for the delay, but uh, no. glad to be talking to you. So I'm glad that we were able to connect. Uh, I was just trying to figure it out myself too. Oh, awesome. Well, I'm glad to have you um, um, been doing other um, online um, interviews and uh, videos and stuff of your work or? Not really, oh, no. Okay. This. All right. the, Fairly neophyte. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, we'll get through this and I'm excited to see your work. Maybe we can just jump right in and you can tell us a little sure. bit about your practice and what you're focused on right now. Well, a lot of the work that I, that I do is uh, in acrylic uh, and watercolor. Uh, mm -hmm. And it mostly focuses on, uh, I'd say, landscapes. Um, and what I'm trying to do is capture... Uh, the moment, um, capture the feeling so that when someone looks at one of my pictures, they go, oh, I can feel the storminess or I can feel the rain or I can feel the the sense of those steps. So that's really what I'm trying to do in, in my paintings. And then I'm also, I'm also trying to have a painting where I guess it's my sense of humor or something like that, but I always try to have a bit of a surprise in, in a painting. Uh, something for a curious person. So while my painting might be described as sort of a combination of realism and impressionism, uh, I'm always trying to leave something out or have something hidden in it. So even my most neutral paintings uh, are actually using fluorescent colors. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, so uh, which you can't see in daylight, but the surprise is there. And, uh, and, and at other times, it might be a person in a landscape, and, and I haven't painted the person in. So right. uh, you can imagine what that person really does look like and, and that kind of stuff. And so that's, that's kind of what I'm painting. And, uh, you know, uh, well, a lot of... It, go ahead. Oh, I, I was just going to say, well, um, I think those are really kind of interesting takes, because it kind of lets your viewer then sometimes like search for or continue that story, right? And you're trying to create that connection. Yeah. Um, whether it's evoking a feeling or a memory or something with the viewer, with the person who's um, relating to your work um, and make it more personal to them. These other little things kind of um, are almost like these happy surprises that they might come upon. And maybe like if they see sort of that image or that person and they're filling in that story of who that might be. Yeah. Um, I, I think that's a lovely um a lovely story for somebody to like um, continue. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's it's also an outlet for me uh, right. to, to use up some energy, uh, and uh, my style has been described as bold and savage. I'm not sure about the savage part. Savage? But, oh wow! <laughs> yeah, but but I, but I do like to have some pretty strong marks and strong colors and and uh, uh, significant changes in values at times. So it's. Uh, yeah, those are some of the surprises in there too. Yeah, well, I think it, from a compositional perspective, I think contrast and those big bold stripe strokes, they really add to it and they actually yeah. make the piece so much more interesting, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, well, it brings them in, and I try to direct them in from the from the corners and right. and take them through a painting. So in a lot of my paintings, there's a usually a Z pattern, or or for Americans, that's a Z pattern, yes. uh, and 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 take them around and and show them different aspects of of uh, traveling in the painting. Warren, do you have? Uh, it looks like you're in your studio there. Do you yeah. can you turn your camera around and maybe share? Talk to us about a few pieces to show, like sure. highlight some of that. What what you're talking about? Uh, yeah, I just have to figure out how to change the camera again. Um, so the arrows, the arrows. Yeah, are I know. Simple. I just had to have to see them with my All glasses. Right, <laughs> so this would be this would be one of my uh, fluorescent neutral uh, oh, paintings, wow. and that's a that's a house in Sunnybrook Park that overlooks where the stables uh, used to be. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. is, so that's uh, it, I live in Lee Side, so it's it's nearby, and and so that's a, a a cool winter, and so I like to paint in all seasons. And then this one, uh, this one is uh, called a pelican in the pond, and that's from Jamaica, um, and it it's a very peaceful, patient sitting there. The pelican is just waiting for something to come along, and and then. Uh, it, more of a, a fall-like colors or mm, a, a way of uh, meditating and reflecting. Uh, this is a recent painting that I did. It's it's a sunset over uh, Lake of Bays. And um, so there's there's some sort of weirdness going on in the, uh, in the sky uh, and then a, a very strong uh, foreground. Uh, that has holes in it to to let you go through, and then the abstract view of a actually of a boat. So oh wow, okay. Four parallel lines. That's about as good a boat as I can do. And then um, I have a series of Jamaica paintings, and uh, this one's a heliconia, uh, which is a dwarf uh, bird of paradise, um, and it uh, looks great on a black wall. Uh, but it's it's part of a series of of Jamaican flowers that I do too. That's beautiful. So, yeah, and in there you can sort of see the Z pattern, which actually yeah. takes you into the sort of the background of it, as or you climb up the climb up, up the flower, and then um, yeah, and then I'm painting uh, some watercolors. So this is what I'm working on right now, and um, there'll be some unpainted parts of it, and uh, otherwise. Uh, it'll be brightly painted in and then sort of so a do, you, do you primarily do acrylics then and then play with watercolors or does like, does one lead to the other like I'm just curious that because mostly what you've shown us is acrylic and I kind of know you as an acrylic or acrylic excuse me acrylic artist um, and the colors I, are just vibrant and beautiful I didn't actually yeah. know that you did watercolor well I, I actually started in oil uh, in 1962 and painted for three years in oil uh, and then gave up art till so that I could actually make money and uh, and work through a career. And then I picked up all the way through engineering and and uh, work. I did watercolor because uh, it's easy. It's transportable and yeah. pick pick up, put down. So actually, I did mostly watercolor and uh, chalk art, pastel. Uh, and then laterally, um, I've moved into acrylic. Um, I just don't show uh watercolor all that much um, right but yeah uh, uh, so yes i show primarily as an acrylic artist mm -hmm. um but there's a a number of watercolors that i have on my website um and a few pastels too oh lovely yeah uh, I, this this the color contrast in that piece there it's just beautiful on here like the bird of paradise yeah. uh, image like i like oh, yeah. all your oranges the reds and then these little pinks I, and pinks and purples in the back, like as you go to the foreground a bit. Yes. I mean, sorry, the background a bit. I think it's, yeah. uh, the, your use of color is really beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, so, um, Warren, tell me a little bit about uh, the show and what you're presenting in the show. Are these pieces in the show? Like, will people be able to potentially purchase some of these pieces? Yeah, all of them except the ones that I'm working on are pieces right. that I'm – showing in in the uh, in the show um so i'll have about 17 uh paintings and in acrylic um i paint larger scale so 
Um, right. I really, I really don't paint much below 12 by 12. Um, right. So most, most of these are 24 by 30 uh, and 30 by 40. Um, right. I've done murals that are four times the size of that, but, wow. uh, but it's kind of hard in, to show. In Toronto? Them. Yeah, in, actually. In GTA? Yeah, or in yeah, the, it, it's, I used to paint a lot for um, fairs and, um, oh, okay. you know, so it's on paper and uh, probably has been well destroyed since then. But you could also find my uh, chalk art on uh, sidewalks and telephone poles. So oh, wow. we won't get into my, won't get into my graffiti past. <laughs> You're going, OK. Well, it'd be interesting to learn a little bit more about that. <laughs> Another yeah, time, that, Angela. That fun, yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't actually get a great look at the um, watercolor. So you don't have any watercolors in the actual show. You're not doing watercolor in the show? Not, not this time. I, I, not I'm this more, time. Yeah, I wanted to, if I, if I put in 30 paintings, yes, I would have had um, a, a number of watercolors. Um, but I, I, I more wanted to focus on uh, people getting a chance to see the, you know, 17 of my paintings. Yeah, the uh, one collection. Acrylic. I think that's yeah. yeah, I think that's a smart idea. So the the um your the collectors actually get a really good impression of this collection and kind of what yeah. you're showcasing there, yeah. And your color story yeah. and, even from the Jamaican pieces to the uh more Ontario pieces, they're sort of they relate very well. Like it's beautiful. Like the colors are uh, it's a good color story. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. And uh, I didn't mean to cut you off. You're just going to No, no. It's yeah, uh, with my Jamaican paintings, um, because we've traveled there and seen the beauty of Jamaica, but also seen the tougher side. I'm also uh, donating 30% of my uh, Jamaican uh, painting uh, sales uh, to a foundation. It's called the Issa Foundation in Jamaica, where oh, they, provide, they provide health care and uh, education to uh, Jamaican children. And during COVID, they're well behind us. We're very... So it doesn't seem like it, but we're very well off in Canada. And yeah. um, it's an opportunity to, to say thank you to uh, to Jamaican practice. So I just wanted to let people know that too. Oh, that's awesome. My daughter um, did a mission trip there the year before COVID. And um, so, yeah, she's talked to people there and, and she's just saying, yeah, like they're really way behind us. So I think that's awesome yeah. that we're able to do that. Yeah. So... So, uh, Warren, maybe um, I just, uh, you've been in the Riverdale Art Walk show in the past and you are in the tent tour. Are you popping up a tent on the weekend, this weekend? No, I, I have to play it safe. So, right. uh, I, so I'm not, but my, uh, but I am available for uh, private viewing uh, by appointment only. Uh, but I, I just, sorry, I didn't want to take the chance of. of yeah, that's right. It's so hard. You know, you see people and you want to interact with people and hear how they're reacting to your paintings. Yeah. And, and, and uh, I'm not a huggy feely engineer, right. but, <laughs> but, uh, but it is too, uh, too easy to get too close to people. Yeah. So yeah. I'm playing it so safe. If, so the best way for people to see your work in person would be to connect with you on social or on your, through your website to send well, a I, visit or. Yeah. Uh, well, through Instagram, through uh, my my website at, at uh, warreneberlin.com, or um, there's a contact thing uh, with my email on that site, uh, and they can they can email me. So I, any of those. And of course, they can connect with you through our online sh uh, show and sale. Um, there's a yes, they can. You there as well um, to ask yeah. further questions about your work and to see if, if they are local, if they could potentially. So you said you were in the Lee side area, is that right? Yeah, Bay Bayview. So Bay what area? Yes, Bayview and Eglinton in Lee side. So, yeah, so if people are local to Toronto, they could uh, connect with you and potentially um, uh, set up an appointment to actually view yeah. a piece. All yeah. right, awesome. Thank you. Well, Warren, thanks so much for joining us today. It was great talking to you and seeing um, some of your work and learning a little bit more about your practice. And good luck with the show. I hope that uh, you do well. And um, people, um, make sure you check out Warren's work. We're excited to, to see it in person, hopefully in a year or so, I guess. Thank you, Angela, <laughs> all right, for all Warren, your work. Bye-bye. Yeah, no problem. Thanks. Have a Bye. good day. Bye-bye.